I've been in and watching all the games and all the teams. Uh, they're the Man City of MLS. Uh, the budget, the talent, the way they play, uh, that's the best team in the league. And as I'm standing there at 1-0, I'm looking at my team, and my feeling was that I was proud of them for how they played, everything they gave. And that's also considering that we were doing that, playing a team that didn't have a midweek game, and we had eight or nine guys that played all three games. And on top of that, we lost two guys yesterday, um, you know, Zach and Waylon, which compounded our injuries in the outside back position. Josh Williams had to slide in there. He hasn't played outside back in two, three years. He's one of the best players on the field today. And, and that's a tough part, is my feeling was so positive. And as I watched my team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Man City of MLS, um, I couldn't help but think, you know, this is, this is incredible. You know, with us grinding through a three and eight, and they didn't have a midweek, and they had five days to prepare. And we had one 30-minute <coughs> Friday walkthrough because you can't train when you have two days in between. And even in a 5v2, we have a guy go down with a soft tissue injury. And our guys still match this team, and we're right there. And if Pedro scores that goal, right, it's 1-1. It's a different game. The tough part is it ends 3-0. And now with another seven minutes of the game, we give up two goals and everybody leaves the stadium thinking we were crap. And um, we weren't. So I'm proud of my group. I don't care what anybody says. I know how they played. I know what they gave. And, um, and yet I did, did tell them it's time for us to stop giving up cheap goals because that second goal that's the fourth or fifth time that's happened and that's unacceptable at this level and we have to finish those chances that we get and those are the things that i can't solve they have to solve they're the ones in those moments to make those plays and we need to stop giving up cheap goals and we need to start finishing Caleb, uh, first glimpse of Davi Guzman and David Akam on the field at the same time tonight. How good will it be to have a full week of training with them, and what did you see from those two players tonight? It'll be nice to have a full week to prepare again, you know, and not just survive, you know, and, and again, play a team. We're playing the best team in the league, and, and they have five days to prep, and they're completely fresh. And it didn't look like it to me. You know, when I look at my team versus their team, and that's what I'm proud of. And there are better days ahead. And I thought David was excellent today. He's, he's a quality player. And, uh, you know, David didn't get a lot of minutes, but he had a couple moments that were very good, and he showed what he's capable of.